How's everybody doing? Uh, first, I just wanted to start off and just tell everybody thank you for uh, everybody. Everybody, thank you. Uh, I wanted to start off with Michelle, my mom, my dad, my grandparents, my son. You know, uh, I want to thank the Lord for just always being here for me. I always just continue to to uh, let me be so strong in my faith and. Uh, the UPMC, the doctors, Dr. Nkanko, Dr. Maroon, everybody in the UPMC staff at Mercy, at uh, at Presby, and then even at the UPMC Southside Rehab Facility, I just want to thank all of them so much for all the, the hard work that they've been putting in to help me get back to where I'm at. Uh, I also want to thank the Steelers, uh, Mr. Rooney, Mr. Colbert, Mr. Coach Tomlin, all my coaches, all my teammates, they've just been so supportive, coming to see me at rehabs, coming to see me in the hospital, and even uh, coming to see me at my house and just being so supportive of uh, just me going through this. Uh, um, these athletes all around the NFL, all around all the sports, I just want to say thank you to. Um, I met a lot of interesting people, a lot of cool people that I never thought I would meet uh, dealing with this situation. I just want to say thank you to everybody that's really been supporting me, everybody that's been praying for me, and it, it really means a lot. Uh, uh, I want to say thank you to my agency, CAA. They've been doing really a great job of uh, handling the situation and just and just really uh, just taking care of me. In this, in, and I just want to say thank you to them a lot. Uh, I just want to say thank you to everybody in Cincinnati because I know once this happened, it was it was a little scary for everybody at first. And um, they were the first ones at hand. And I just want to say thank you for all the amazing work they did and just to make sure I was okay when I first got injured. Then uh, Still a Nation, to all the fans, to everyone out there that's part of Steelers and that's not part of Steelers, I just want to say thank you. Uh, uh, I honestly just want to say the prayers that you have been praying out for me and just I can really feel it when I'm going through rehab. I can really feel it throughout the days. And I know that it's definitely – pushing me to continue to go harder and get better every single day, and it really means a lot to me. Uh, and I also want to take, thank the local media here for just being so respectful with all my requests. Uh, I know it's been a while. I really haven't talked to the media, and I, this is my first time. I just want to say thank you guys so much for just being respectful of my time and just uh, just giving me the the time to, to just take, take it in and, and now being able to talk about everything. So... Uh, I just wanted to start off and just saying it's, it's been a long process, you know, it's been a challenge, but I'm just really just pushing it every single day. You know, I'm constantly just getting better and I'm feeling so much better from from the moment I got hurt to now. And I know it's going to be a long journey, but I'm just constantly working my tail off, constantly trying to get better and just uh, trusting the Lord and just uh, continue, continue to believe and believe in myself. Uh, um, yeah. Looking forward to my rehab and and um, and every day is just getting so much better. But I just I just like I'm saying, just thank you and my rehab has been going so great. Every day is honestly, I feel like I'm constantly getting better. And uh, I just wanted to start off with that, and I just wanted to ask you guys, I mean, open you guys to questions if you have any. So. Ryan, do you expect to return to play? Uh, yeah, my dream is to come back and play football again. You know, I, I've been working my tail off every single day, so uh, I, I have that in my back of my mind every single every single time I go to rehab, and you know, I just try to stay positive every single day. So I'm just trying to do everything I can to get back. Has the doctors given you any kind of a timetable or prognosis? What are they telling? Um, honestly, right now I'm not like a doctor, but honestly, they they just telling me just every day, just take it one day at a time. And um, the further we get along in rehab, the better they can give me answers. But uh, right now, they just said, just take it day by day. And they feel like I'm doing a lot better than they expected. Have you surprised yourself at all, Ryan, with what you've been able to uh, accomplish with your recovery? Um, I'm not going to say I was surprised myself. Uh, you know, at, at first, I, um, it, I feel like I'm doing a lot better than I expected to at first. But uh, I'm definitely... I'm definitely uh, just thankful and just trusting the Lord and just thanking everybody because I honestly feel one of the biggest things to me is just all the support that I've been getting from everybody else allows me to even push even harder. So uh, I, I'm not really surprised about where, I, where I'm at, but I'm just thankful because uh, I know it's just a, it's a different situation that most people have to deal with. Why has it been so important to you to stay here, to do your rehab here, as opposed to going to your family in Florida? Um, honestly, 
I feel like it's important to stay here because it makes me feel like I'm still myself, feel like I'm still at home. You know, uh, a lot of people, they like to go places or try to just stay as comfortable as possible. But I honestly felt like being here made it more comfortable for me. Just being able to see my teammates practicing and play, being able to be at a facility, being able to study film, learn about the, the whole ins and outs of the student organization. If I was at home, a lot of my teammates wouldn't be able to come visit me as much. And then, uh, and then I, I don't feel like I would be able to see the people that I see on a regular basis as much. And I feel like a lot of times they, they get better at what you want to get better at. Sometimes you can't always be comfortable. You've got a lot of physical milestones since December. What's sort of the next one you're looking forward to hitting? Uh, that's a that's a good question. Uh, one of, one of the things that I'm looking forward to doing is uh, I, I just I just want to be able to start walking a little bit more by myself without using the cane. And uh, if that if that's camp, I, I'm happy for it. If it's the regular season, I'll be happy for it. But uh, honestly, I'm just constantly just just trying to take it one day at a time. And uh, I know at the end of the day, I have a final goal and I have the little steps ahead of it. But my next step is pretty much just being able to start walking by myself without any support of the cane or, or holding somebody's hand or anything like that. Ryan, what you mentioned right. before about watching film, being around practice, in those interactions that you have with guys like Boston and Matt Kevich and even some of the safety that are playing your position, are you kind of taking on a mentorship role to the degree? Of What's your communication been with those guys who are largely going to be playing your position? One of the things I, I just uh, tell those guys, because at the end of the day, I don't want to just pressure myself on people. I always tell them, hey, man, um, if you ever need any knowledge from me or you ever need anything from me, I want to call away. I'm, you just ask me whatever you want. I don't, to me, I always felt like uh, you always can make yourself better or the team better by giving everybody all that you have. And um, that's what I try to do for those guys. They ask me any questions, I'm open and helping them. But if, uh, if, uh, but yeah, like that's, that's pretty much what I'm doing. How are they doing? I feel like they're doing a really good job to me personally. I feel like uh, a lot of guys are still trying to catch on and, and uh, you know, we have some younger guys, but like with Tyler and the older guys, I feel like they're doing good also. And from the moment Tyler was a, a rookie till now, uh, me and him had a really good relationship. So when they came to asking questions, he knew before he could ask me questions. So I know he probably didn't feel any different now. Right. Right. When you have a goal during the season, when you have to find goal during the season, uh, right now, uh, I'm just taking it one day at a time, and the, the coaching staff and Mr. Rooney, they're going to let me know as uh, the, the season comes along, but right now, we haven't just decided exactly what I'm going to do. Are you getting a feel for whether you like scouting or coaching? Or? Uh, honestly, uh, I'm just really taking it all in. Uh, it's kind of cool just to, to learn the ins and outs of the scouting department, the coaching department, and just to learn how they come up with plays or how... Uh, the scouting goes when it comes to making a team. So it, it's really cool to me just to, l to learn both of them. And um, I just constantly just trying to, to learn as much as I can because uh, I still want to play football, you know. So at the end of the day, I'm still focused on trying to get back as much as I can. But uh, I'm still really excited about learning. Why do you still want to play? Uh, because at the end of the day, I played this game since I was four years old. I loved the game since I was four years old. And, and just because I got hurt don't mean I'm going to stop loving the game of football, you know. Uh, uh, honestly, I feel when you give your your best in anything that you do, uh, it, it, I feel it makes it a little easier when something happens to you because you never have to look back and regret that you didn't go as hard enough. And I feel like I gave everything I had. I got hurt, and I'm still gonna give everything I have to come back. Brian, what was it like to go through that moment when you did get injured, and, and how scary was that? How much did you worry that? How long did it take if ever to come to this moment where you are right now? I'm not gonna lie, you know, the, the moment I got hurt, it might have been a little scary, but uh, but I just trusted the Lord. I just asked Him to continue to pray, uh, you know, watch over my life. I know that the Lord always has a bigger purpose, and He, uh, I knew He's gonna make sure that everything was taken care of, everything was gonna be okay. But I'm not gonna lie, it was it was a little scary at the moment because I, I got hurt. But I understand that football is a dangerous game. I understand that uh, things can happen and. And I, I just accepted it at the moment. And I know that sometimes you have some obstacles that you're going to have to overcome. And I accepted what, what happened to me. And I just kept pushing forward. And just I'm just going to try to win, win out of it. Everyone feared the worst. Did you, did you in your mind, like, have some sense of peace that you would, you would walk again? See, I think, I think with me, the problem that I have is that I always think 
the 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 best case scenario instead of the worst case scenario. You know, so uh, um, you know, a lot of people they probably told me, man, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. But at, from the moment I got hurt, I was like, hey, Lord, just continue to watch over me. Hey, you know what your plan is. I, I'm. I hope I can play the game of football again. And when I, when I got hurt, that's the, th the only thing I was talking to about is about. I, I, I wasn't saying, man, I might not be able to walk again. I was like, hey, hey will I be able to play the next season? And they was like, hey, man, we might have to make you wait another season. But, hey, as long as you uh, keep working your tail off, we're just taking one day at a time, and we'll just see where it goes from there. Ryan, what is the game? Isn't there a fear of having this injury again that maybe you can work? Uh, me personally, uh, I, I don't really have a fear of it. Uh, I think everybody, when they're playing any type of sport, you got to first get out there and, and get it going or start moving or have your first hit. And then you start, you calm back down and you get back to yourself. And I think that's just all it is to me. Once I get back out there and start playing again with guys, uh, I just have to probably play a little safer. You know, I just got to put my head up or something. But other than that, I, I, I'm honestly, I'm fine with whatever outcome comes with it, and I'm just trusting the Lord. And I feel like if He gives me the opportunity to play again, I'm gonna go out there and give everything I have. Ryan, your, your teammates Kevin Colbert, everybody always talks about your spirit. Have there ever even been any bad days? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be a liar if I would say there hasn't been any bad days. I feel everybody has some some rough days, but I promise you, if it's if it's a hundred days, probably. 95 of them are good days, and, and five of them, I'm not going to say five, three of them are like neutral days, and the two of them are bad. You know, uh, I'm, I try to stay as positive as possible. You know, at the end of the day, you always have some some negativity that I try to seek, seek in, but I always felt from the moment I was younger, if you have a positive mindset, no matter what you're doing, as long as you're trying to do the best you can, uh, most likely the best outcome is going to come your way, and especially if you're working your tail off. So, And that's the way I feel about this situation. So uh, I know like sometimes you'll have a bad day or you might be a little sore, you know, or something might seek in, but then, you know, you just, you just rest on it. That's one of the days you just chill in the house by yourself, play the video game a little longer than you want to, and then, then get back to the next day and you're right back, back to normal. So. Right, right. I have something like this happen. You learn to appreciate it a little bit more. Can you describe for us what it was like to take your very first steps and then also what it was like to walk out and announce the selection? Oh, yeah, uh, it's crazy because uh, you definitely appreciate everything a lot more now. Uh, just from the, the moments from just to taking your first steps to walking out to the draft to even being here to stand up and talk to you guys about the injury that I dealt with, is uh, you just de definitely take an appreciation for for everything, I'm not gonna even lie. Uh, I try. I tell my family all the time. Uh, w when uh, like I see the ramps for like the wheelchair accessible areas, like when I used to before I got hurt, I didn't really look at those ramps as much as I pay attention to them now. Like I, I remember somebody blocked me out of the car, you know, and uh, and I really start understanding. Like, dang, this is what this is for. And you, I couldn't get in my wheelchair at first, and just you really appreciate everything, little thing like that. And before you, you just live your life, and you don't feel like you're not appreciating it. It's just something that you're constantly living by. And um, I honestly, I, I, I just appreciate every moment that I'm in. Like when I was in rehab, the first few steps I took, I'm not gonna even lie, me and my family were crying. Sometimes I look back in my videos, and I still cry, but it's all tears of joy because at the end of the day. Uh, I, I've read some articles, I've, I've seen some type of things, and you know, people always think in the worst case scenario, and just to know you go back and see where you came from and where people thought you would be to where you are now and where I plan on being, it really makes me appreciate every moment, every every single step I take, every time I'm here with these guys, you know, every, every time somebody comes talk to me, I, I try to just keep a positive mindset because you just have to appreciate every single moment that you're in, because a lot of times we take things for granted that you might not even think you take think, uh, that you might not think you take for granted. Brian, what is your? Uh, you you thank, have Brian? you thanked everyone for the support? Uh, but can you talk about the, the appearances that you made, like you know, with the terrible towel at the Penguins game, and when you were at the draft, which you just talked about? Did, did the attention and the support? From those crowds and, and to give you motivation, did it, did it help feed you a little bit? I think I think those things definitely helped feed me. You know, the first game coming back with a terrible towel, uh, I 
it really meant so much to me just being there because at the end of the day, I've been with this team from the moment I got drafted, and, you know, and, I, I, and Pittsburgh had my back from the moment I got drafted. You know, uh, they might get mad at me when I drop a pick every now and then, but at the end of the day, they have my back from the moment I got drafted. So just to know I went back out there and just to see how how happy everybody seemed, how loud the stadium got, how it just seemed how that many people supported me, it really made me feel like, hey, man, everybody has my back. Like, I, when I was in uh, Mercy, I was getting letters, and, and, and I have so much letters and so much uh, – so much, so many gifts from people that I can't even read them all, and I'm just so thankful because they just let me know that this many people are praying for me. I, I had a elementary school, literally, uh, the whole elementary school, every single kid wrote me a good, get well soon letter. And that's over 500 kids, you know, and it's just a, a box, and I just, I just really, just, all that feeds to make me want to do better. So, like, when I go to Penguins games, when I go to Cavalier games, when I go to the Steeler games, when when people are cheering, and it just makes me feel like, hey, I'm back to myself, and it allows me to make me feel like, hey, I'm getting better, or, hey, I'm feeling more normal. And I know a lot of times when people get hurt or a lot of times when people get in certain situations, they try to get into a cave and try to, like, dang, I'm hurt. But a lot of times I notice when when I'm hurt or when I'm dealing with something, when I'm actually trying to be myself, be back normal, it makes me actually feel better. It makes me want to do more because I don't want to just sit here in my house all day when I know I can still be getting out and, and still having a good time. So Three more questions. Three more. What is your day-to-day routine of, of working out uh, and scouting and working with the team? Uh, so uh, right now I'm not really doing as much scouting since we just drafted people. So, uh, but uh, – but before, I would probably get in around 7 a.m. Um, we'd come in, watch films with the scouts. And then after that, uh, I'll probably do half with the scouts and then half with the coaching staff when they're, like, breaking down the film. <laughs> breaking down the film from the old season and then, and then figuring out stuff that we're going to do for the new season. And then, uh, and then I'll be here, work out for about two hours. And then right now we're practicing, so I'll watch practice. But before when we weren't practicing, I would go to the training facility and I'll be there from about two to four, and then after that, I'll go home and then rest for about an hour. And then uh, uh, my trainer, uh, he he comes over and helps me do also do some extra stuff that I might do at home, like I would do before the season. But it constantly, I feel like that actually helps me build my body back up before. I mean more also. So and then I'll probably try to go to bed at ten o'clock. But you know, Fortnite keep you up a little longer. So. Ryan, Ryan, you, mentioned you mentioned playing safer. Um, when you come back and you see the whole change the league has made when it comes to hits, what are your thoughts on those changes hitting? Um, honestly, I've been playing football since I was four. So, you know, like some of the hits I did or some of the same hits I had when I was 10 years old, you know, so it's kind of hard when you're trying, they're trying to tell you like to avoid hitting a certain way because at the end of the day, a lot of people that's been playing this game and playing since they were probably before they can really, really speak full sentences, you know, and, and honestly, uh, it's, it's, it's a little hard, but you just you just gonna have to start playing the way that they want you to play. Start tackling more with your shoulders, you know. I guess and and just try not to avoid, try to completely avoid people upper half. You know, at the end of the day, it's kind of hard if somebody is coming at you a certain way, but you just gotta play is uh, the the way they want you to. Final question here, guys. Ryan, what, what does your son understand, and what do you tell him? Uh, since he's four, it's kind of, I mean, he's not even four, he's three. So uh, since it's kind of hard for him to understand, but I know that he understands that daddy's hurt and that uh, that he constantly wants to, like, see me see me get better. Like, sometimes, like, uh, when I was in a wheelchair, he would be trying to push me in my wheelchair. Or, like, if I drop a cane, he'd help me pick my cane up. But it, it, but it's kind of cool because you understand that he sees that I'm getting better because sometimes he'll be like, hey, daddy, come on, walk. Or, daddy, come do this. Or, daddy, come do that. And before, when I was hurt a little bit more, you could tell that he went – like he wouldn't ask me to do some of the stuff that he's asked me to do now. So uh, just to know that he see I'm doing, I'm doing a lot better, just to know that uh, I am getting a lot better, it really means a lot for me and him because the, the fact that I'm getting a lot better allows me to play with him more, allows me to just do more activities with him when I wasn't able to do that three months ago. So it really means a lot. And, it, it's, 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 and I, I, I can definitely tell he's learned a lot more than he did. All right. Thanks, Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it.